Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer. This video is about migrating on-prem server to AWS console. So, this is a very important but straightforward video where I will show you all steps how you can create a virtual machine or how you can migrate a virtual machine already available into your network environment could be a vm could be a physical machine steps are same so here i am going to simply log into my aws new account you can create your own account for one year please watch my previous videos where you can see how you can provision a new account for aws that is good for one year so first thing I am going to show you migration hub option from your AWS console. Through migration hub, we are going to first discover the server by installing a discovery agent on the server. Then we will migrate that server into AWS console. So this is your dashboard you have these all options here so what we are going to use is cloud indoor so cloud indoor you can connect directly if you have an account if you don't have you can create one account so i am going to show you all steps how you can do that so if you don't have an account you can basically create one so here i am going to create a brand new cloud indoor account so first you have to fill in the information then you have to make sure that you are not a robot you will need a corporate email i have to go into my website control panel and create one email r m e e r at n y one so once i have this email then i have to submit this request so i should receive one email where I can go back and click on the link to validate my cloud indoor account. So this is my new email. Let's go log in to this email. Here we go. Now I will see possibly only one welcome email and one from AWS. You see that I have only one email from AWS and one for my welcome okay so you have to click on the link to validate the email so i am going to validate this cloud indoor email once you click on the link then you have to go and sign in so here whatever account you created and whatever password you are using for that new cloud indoor email you can simply can go and log in you will see welcome to cloud indoor and you will see project not set up message you can continue once you are validating actually once you are validated you simply uh, can log off from this email because this was a link from my email directly so it was just to show you uh, that is where we're gonna go and we're gonna have a new user and that is where we need some IDs from the user under credentials. So I'm going to go and log in back directly from my web browser to my cloud indoor console. You will see once again, welcome to cloud indoor message. And also you are going to see a project not set up message but this time we are going to set up the project so this is a now a different story because now we have to proceed here i need a user account uh, which we don't have actually so because we need uh, uh, user account ids actually here uh, the authorized user uh, is required for cloud indoor so i'm going to create a migration user or mig mig user 
add a new user if you want to add second user you can but I am not going to uh, I am giving programmatic access and management console access for now you also can attach an existing policy so we are going to attach discovery related two policies right from here you can search the policies once you see the policy you can attach these policies if you want to add a tag you can uh, I'm not going to but it is optional you can review and create and you will see the options what you have here what you selected I see one thing here my console password type is auto generated uh, let's go back and uh, fix that one I don't like auto generated password so I'm going to uh, have a custom password I will leave as user should change the password option but here I am going to add a custom password which is done now you can back go back and click next next review and create a user now we do have a user but we will need access key and a secret access key for this user you can also download as a csv format or you can copy or and you can copy and save somewhere where you can access easily so i'm going to create a notepad where i'm going to add these both keys so we will use later on so let's log in as a mig user now you have to verify your id and password once you are in change the password here Ooh, we can see that we don't have much access for this user I think I supposed to give the give this user a little more access uh, let's make him happy log off from the console go back into the regular account which I was using uh, as an administrator or uh, router account so I'm going to log off log in back and give this user administrative access okay so let's do that okay so I'm going back this user you can simply straight add a policy or attach a policy which will give him a user administrator access so once you select the group then you can attach this access to this user that's how you give a user access so whatever group you attach actually or policy you attach that's how you are giving user access so now I do have this user I'm going to log in back a little bit fast forward so just to save some time now I do have access to look at my IAM identity and access management I am going to see this user this is only one user here because this is a brand new account and brand new console and first user which I am using right now so we are good I am going back to my cloud indoor I am adding my keys actually access key and secret key so this will validate my account so later on when I migrate I would not have any issue the second thing we will do is you have to have a replication settings you can select other infrastructure at left side and at the right side your region I am using US East Ohio so that is the region I am using right now you can scroll down for your uh, machine options so which type of machine you are going to use uh, I want to use T2 micro uh, for now I will leave this all as default but uh, as a demo practice I will come back so now I do have my project uh, completed like this is a setup completed now the next step is to migrate your virtual machine or VM so but here we have options to download the agent so because my machine will be Windows machine I will download a Windows agent before that I'm going to uh, change my server to t2 micro as, as I said before and I wanted to do that one anyway so once you do that you can save your settings 
is these are our application settings and you will be good to move on to your next step so here you can see that under machine you will see options to download the installer so we need a installer underscore win dot exe which i am going to use and put together all of those installers i am going back into my aws console and keep in mind i am using here a remote connection to log into this uh, remote physical windows 10 machine and this machine name is e i g h t you can see on the top on the back end you have my physical server here you will see my downloaded executed so i am downloading aws discovery agent so you can download right uh, i can show you where you go and download from your console you're gonna go under discovery agent option and choose this windows download i have just downloaded that one and uh, uh, other one you have to install a installer underscore win dot exe which basically uh, is a requirement you also have to install visual c plus plus redistributable executable uh, for x86 this is the only one which works actually for the agent so this is the link which you can use i will actually uh, leave this link for you so you can use that link uh, to download and you have now discovery available you can put this all together in an organized manner so i'm going to put in a mapped drive under AWS downloads folder you will see basically I am moving these three files or this folder between multiple virtual machines so whichever machine requires uh, these three files I will actually move on to those machines so here currently I am putting these all files under one physical machine uh, but I am communicating between physical and virtual. So here is my VMware workstation, brand new blank, nothing is in there. I am thinking which machine I supposed to add and migrate. So far, I do not have any machine available now at this time to migrate, but I have prepared the environment. So environment is right available with my all ISOs, Windows Server 2019, 2016, Sam 1, Windows 8.1. I believe I'm gonna install uh, Windows Server 2016 to migrate. All right. So this is what I have for my part one. Uh, I will come back prepared for my part two, where we are going to install Discovery Agent and we will actually proceed for migration from on-prem to AWS. So wait for the next video where you can follow along with me if you have a VM available. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.